Kizuna Chieda. She seems to know something about Chikara. Inhumane genome experiments carried out at Horadori's research facility. Oh, yeah. The family name was Okiera. Mizuki found out what? that she was adopted. Two and exes? she was been tested Terror out. Terror is just playing with us. Yeah, Terror is just playing with us. Hello, No Eyesight. How are you doing? You're just in time. So, loading, loading. Ah! We were done, eh? Thank you very much for the lurk. Thank you for being here. I hope to see you soon, my friend. Um, yeah, let's check the... Oops. Let's check our Tamagotchi. So, what does it want? What do you from? What do you want from an anime? Story, voice actor, hyper visual. I'm gunning for loving, eh? Because I wanted. Fuck. Which way? Which one am I going for? Oops. Uh, let me check the. <laughs> The tutorial. Okay, I'm having Ota Pewter. I'm going for Pewter. All right. So I want loving, right? So which one? This should be the loving. Hype, visual, voice actor, or story. Hmm. Visual. Brave. Right, people get more than 80% of their info from what they see, E. Yeah, I follow the computer! 1,000 eyeballs! Yay! Oh shit, I can barely tell that this is pewter. Alright, I got him. So yeah, his suit looks like an X. And I can barely see his eye. Those are not sunglasses. Um, do I want to keep him? Nah, let's reset. Thank you, Pewter. You're gonna die anyway if you stay an adult for too long. After a while, you just move away on your own. So, might as well... Uh, what kind of Tsukomi do you like? Um, simple. Oh, it's brave. Why? Uh, this not, does not bode well. If it's a Mizuki, I'm gonna have to reset it. Okay, I got the rainbow. Mizuki chapter one. Clearing keys in the somnium. Color in the clouds. A sign of good fortune ahead. <clears throat> okay, I got two star on B1, and then, then, then I'm gonna get a new um, promotion. But right now we're done. We're chasing. We're chasing the um, the balloons. Hmm. I believe there would be balloons in two of those places, right? If I was a serial killer, I would hit them in plain sight. So. Amusement park. And Mizuki on her scooter, on her motorbike. Department store Misetan, February 12th, Tuesday. <clears throat> oh, police officers are all around. Why is there a police officer here? Unknown, but I see a balloon over there. Oh, we tipped them about the balloon thing and they found it before us? Yes, I see a red balloon. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. Is it blue on the other side? 
It looks all red. This isn't one of Terror's balloons. No. I suppose not. This is all red. Yeah, sorry to say, it's not the real deal. Boss. Boss. You're here. Iba told me about Terror's challenge. <sighs> he thinks he can play with us like this. Oh, I can move now. Oops. Airplane. To be the bearer of bad news, Mizuki. But armed as you are, you cannot ride this ride. The metal detectors will stop you. No, they won't. Besides, there are no metal detectors. Because it's a fake airplane. We're not talking about a real airplane. Yeah, she couldn't board a plane because of her iron pipe. Sky Psycho. Oh, for dieting. Then I guess I don't need it. It's a ride that loops around the rooftop when you use the pedal. So basically it's like a pedal boat, but it's on rails and uh, feet above the sky and you can see the <coughs> you can see the town at your own uh, pace. Light. It's a sorry. It's a street light. Audience seat, those are seats for the audience. Stage, this is a stage used for events. What else is there? Mmm. La. Step la. No. No stairs. Oh, a bench. There's a bench. Office. Uh, the office that manages this amusement park. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, oh. Let me, let me, flower bed, the flowers are in bloom, it's a spinning airplane ride, this is boss, this is, whoops, this is, I saw something, oh, this is a police officer, there's a lot of cops around. It's a vending machine. There's a row of vending machines here. This is an arcade. There are all sorts of game here like arcade games and games of chance and a shooting game. This looks like a bear. This is a ferris wheel. It's a ferris wheel. Now we have wagon number three. Number two's coming in. I want to expect carriage number two because apparently when you go up, there's a glitch. Miss trash. Ziki, are you hungry? <laughs> By selecting the trash can. Are you hungry? Even if I was, I'm not gonna go digging through trash. There's a trash can here. Oh, no. Red balloon. Not one of terrors. Because they probably put some duds. So what's the the, the so how the song goes? I Shooting star and ho shows, clovers and the blue moon, part of wool and rainbows, and the red balloon. But they're supposed to have another one. Hearts! No, it's hearts. Hearts, stars, red shoes, horseshoes. Hearts, stars, horseshoes, clothes, and blue moon. Okay, I forgot about the hearts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is the shape that you found inside a lucky charm. About the balloons. I don't think Terror's balloons are here. How are you doing on your end? Find any yet? Uh, this is my first stop. Nope, haven't found any yet. Oh, so all fours are fake? Hmm, slacking off on the job, huh? Oh, come on! What am I supposed to do? It's not like I'm looking for a lost TV remote in my couch or something. Pouting. So this is boss. Uh, why are you here? I got called here because of a particularly troublesome co-worker. Who? Date? Ryuki. Oh, Ryuki, yeah, poor guy. Yeah, he was in the middle, um, yeah, he was meddling with the, the affairs. Oh. He was too gung-ho and ended up making a huge mistake. Ryuki found out about the whole balloon thing from Tama. <clears throat> he came to this amusement park to investigate. Oh, he was there. Some part-timer was working here, dressed up in an Adarabbit costume. 
He was apparently tying balloons to the fence. Oh, so... You know what? I bet 20 bucks that the person inside of the other rabbit costume is a mame. And Ryuki saw that. <coughs> Stop right there! He took off his revolver. He shouted at him to get his attention, but I guess the guy didn't hear. There was a paper bag at the mascot's feet. Later, we found out it had scissors in it for cutting the strings of the balloons. Oh, wait. So basically, he's just a regular employee here. He um, put balloons, but Ryuki didn't connect. He thought it was terror, so... When the guy reached down into the bag... Oh, no. Ryuki must have thought it was a weapon. Scissors. He's carrying scissors! Shoot! He's coming right for us! And then he shoot. He shot him? Yeah. A police officer shooting at a civilian. It's unprecedented. Maybe in Japan? But boy, do you need a trip to the United States. <laughs> this is going to be a real scandal. About the shooting. Winksing. I cannot apologize enough. Oh, so the blue guy is her superior. This was my mistake. I wasn't paying enough attention. Oh, Koi Joy! Thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you very much. Excellent! <laughs> Feel free to drop uh, by. What's your favorite uh, geek fandom? Well, if you have a favorite movie, favorite music, a favorite thing you, you love to geek about, uh, tarot card counts. Are you still doing your shark uh, tarot card? That's weird. I thought I really was. Yeah, I thought I. I um, yeah, I was pretty sure that um, you were following me as well. I don't know what happened. It, it happens to one of uh, the people I was following as well. Like, why am I? Why um, aren't I following others? So I have to follow again. So, um, I don't know how it, it drops, maybe, uh, like, if you're not active or present, uh, like, if you don't check my, my, my webpage, uh, my, 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 my channel enough, I don't know what happens, because I don't have any control, I cannot, uh, force on follow my followers, so don't look at me, so, um, thank you very much for, uh, re-pledging, I guess, <laughs> so how are you doing, so... Uh, did your stream ended well? Cause uh, yeah, let's give her let's give her a little shout out to Koi Joy, cause she hasn't been on for a while on Twitch because of family business. Now the kids are old enough to go to school, in which they are. So yeah, she was playing Dragon Age Inquisition, and I love this little animated emote. Still working on making the tarot deck. I'm not streaming that right now. Oh, okay, okay. So I can't wait to see the result. Like, I want to see the full tarot deck. So uh, we can do some reading. Dismissal? He's young and inexperienced, but he's an excellent agent. Oh, they want to dismiss Ryuki. Can we please reconsider? All right, so basically what we're playing, uh, Koi Joy, is uh, AI the Somnium file. It's, um, Pretty much, we can call it a visual novel. There is some gameplay, there is some um, puzzles, and some interactivity involving uh, dreams. Because basically, we're trying to solve a hard to solve murder. Uh, basically, it's a serial killer who's uh, going around uh, killing people in a, spe a specifically impossible to do manner. And every time we find a suspect, if they don't talk, we can sync with them. So basically, we put them onto the machine, we put them into a dream state, and then we enter the dream. Because sometimes dreams are made of truths. Fruit, so we kind of figure out the, the, um, the Somnium worlds, kind of figure out the dream, and see uh, what they're trying to lock away and we have six minutes to solve it, but it's six minutes in the outside world. 
since in sleep mode, when we're sleeping, time doesn't process the same way. Um, <clears throat> like basically it's one, uh, one hundredth of a second for each second in the real world. But sometimes we do action that costs time. So basically we have to figure out the, the, the puzzle before we ran out of time per se. And it's quite interesting. It's not, it's wild. It's very wild indeed. That's so, surprising. I didn't expect that coming from boss. So yeah, she has um, an AI on her left eye because she lost an eye during um, an accident. And her yellow eye is actually an AI embedded inside of an eyeball and she, they have a telepathic connection. So the eyeball is our partner, because she's a cop. Of course, that may not be literally what was said. And this is the eyeball. Like she has a cute, the eyeball has a cute, like teddy bear form, a, a cute chibi form, perfect to make plushies. And, but she also has um, a human form, but it's basically an AR projection. She built it based on uh, the user's preference, but basically the first user. Because she was first partnered with a, a guy, she was a bit of a, of, on the perverted side, and, and basically she said, okay, I'm building this body using your subconscious preferences, and like, I hope my body pleases you. And he was like, no, you're not, you look like a shrimp. <laughs> and she was like, I'm not a shrimp! So like they find it. Yeah, magic eyeball. Magic, high-tech uh, eyeball. And she can connect to the internet. Um, basically, um, she can get phone calls for you. She can do search for you. Um, she has a recharge port on the steering wheel of the car. And when she's like that, she can recharge and drive the car at the same time. So basically, the driver doesn't even need to drive. The eyeball do, does all the driving. But Mizuki, right now she's 18. She doesn't have a license to drive yet, but she does have a license for a motorcycle. So right now she's on she's on the bike. You're gonna see her on the bike. All that was in a dream after all. Yeah. So now we can talk to the boss. Um, where is Ryuki now? He's getting interrogated at HQ. Yeah, this guy has some mental problem. He's just shot at a civilian for no reason. And this is why she's here. I saw him earlier. The man looked unstable. <sighs> I just hope he doesn't do anything stupid. We were playing as him in the six years ago part of the story before he lost all his marbles. He had some cognitive dysfunctions. Like, he had trouble... Um, remembering stuff key elements like he was so sensible to some um detail and it felt like he was just uh talking do you know how how it sounds like having a digital image put into a sound wave a, a sound reader basically that's how that's that's what that's the that's the sound that came out it was like So okay, so why didn't the part-timer respond to Ryuki? The guy in the suit was listening to music. Okay, so he had earbuds inside of his suit. So this is a cute, creepy, uh, but cute uh, mascot, don't you think? His name is Addo Rabbit, a third eye. And yes, it's blood, it's supposed to be blood on the on his paws. And at the tip of his, uh, at the end of his ears. He had his earbuds in. That's why he couldn't hear Ryuki. Mm. Uh, why is there only one balloon? He only just started putting them up. <laughs> run away! Run away! I find this, I find this uh, plushie creepy cute. He was going to put up more. Like, uh, maybe those uh, garbage bell kids? Dolls, remember those? But... That's when Ryuki came. Um, where are all the guests? HQ closed off the park. They came up with some stupid reason, like they found something dangerous on the grounds or something. 
the higher ups are in a frenzy working on a cover up. Yeah, ew, yeah. Some of them were really very gross, I admit. But some were like, okay, that's funny. <laughs> and unfortunately, that means me too. Uh, was the person inside the other rabbit okay? Luckily, the part timer wasn't hit. Oh, cute. Nice. He got shot, but only in the stuffing. The bullet went through his suit, but it didn't hit his body. Yeah. He got lucky. Dot, dot, dot. I need to clean up this mess. Then yell at some people, then do my best brown nosing. Basically, uh, the job of uh, captain of police. <coughs> She has to answer to the lieutenants and bark orders at her subordinates. I've got a long day of diplomacy ahead of me, so I'm gonna get going. Yeah, good luck. Good luck with the rest of the investigation. Okay, Is so what? Is gonna be okay? Hmm. Da da da. There is no point in thinking about him now. Yeah. Let's go, Mizuki. So basically, yeah, the the serial killer uh, left us a note saying i placed three balloons uh, all around town can you find them so basically we're playing uh, a game kind of like saw but not as gory yeah so next uh let's go to the golden yoko show basically golden yoko show is the red district there's a lot of gay bars but um we're not gonna go. I think we're gonna go to Marble. Are we gonna go to Marble or are we gonna go to Brahman Cuisine? Brahman Cuisine is an Indian restaurant. It has nice music and nice ambiance. It just says Golden Yoko Show, so it must be outside. We're in February 12th. Oh, yeah, we're outside. No balloon? Nope. This is Marble. No balloons here. So Marble is a is a gay bar. Mama at Marble may have information. And yeah, Mama is um, is is a, is a trans worker. So she's a information broker. She's a Mama at the bar because Mama is also um, the the head hostess, the head barmaid, the head hostess. Yeah, head hostess. Like uh, the one in charge, the mama. If you're nice to mama, mama will be nice to you. But yeah, she, she she's a trans woman. And um, yeah, she's going to do a lot of lewd jokes. So uh, content warning. Yeah, good idea. I'll ask her. Oh, we're going to go to Marble. All right, we're going to Marble. And she does some fortune telling as well with a special set of crystal balls. You heard me. A set. Not one. Oh, you don't have to tell me. And she's polishing both of them. Chikara's left side was found at Yoyagi Park, right? Wow, information gets to you fast. Yeah. I know when to make things quick and when to... Take my time. Wink, <laughs> wink. <laughs> you see? You see what I meant? You see what I meant? <laughs> Mama is not safe for work. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, I'm gonna check on my Tamagotchi. Okay, what questions do you want to ask me? What direction do you like? Up, down, left, or right? Left. Oh, it's crazy. I really, really don't care. Why do you ask? Okay, be back in 20 minutes. Okay, good. <laughs> Alright, so what's this poster? There's a movie poster on the wall. Chuck Steak Redemption. Chuck Steak Redemption. <laughs> it is a story about a man named Andy who gets sent to prison for a crime he didn't commit. Where he makes Chuck Steaks. So, this is a pawn on Shawshank, but it's Chuck Steaks. <laughs> Just that. 
There's a movie poster on the wall. Oh yeah, the menu. Check the menu, Joy. The menu's written on the blackboard. The top lip of a duck lip girl. The top lip of a duck lip girl. <laughs> I have no idea what it is, but it looks sus. It looks sus as <laughs> Poster. There's a knockout poster on the wall. Uh, yeah, bottles lined up on the counter. Nine bottles. <laughs> what's what's written on the on the hand? I, I can't read. It's too small. Oh, potato life. Potato. Oh, it's your potato emote. Oh, the potato emotes are coming in. I shall announce the answer. We will announce the answer. Dot dot dot. On the internet. Oh yeah, the how many uh, bottles there are. It's it's a, basically it's a reference to uh, 999, which is uh, also a game made by Spike Chunsoft. Like the guy who wrote the script for this game also wrote for um, the Nonary games, uh, the Zero Escape trilogies. So 999, uh, Virtue's Last Reward, a Zero Time Dilemma. The Danganronpa series. And I believe uh, 426 Shibuya Scramble, I think. The all games that I played here. So yeah, this is one of my favorite. And this is a sequel, actually. So uh, this is uh, the Nirvana Initiative. So basically, uh, like, we're going to talk a, lo a lot of, uh, about um, teams that we can also find in the matrix like this world is not real and we're trying to ascend to another realm of existence where the real world is and then we found uh bodies cup in half because there's some duality in it so six years ago there was a serial killer who was uh, cutting and only presenting right halves of the body and right now six years later we found the, the other half of the bodies, but when we check the time of death, it says that it's been killed recently, which doesn't add up. Because there were no signs of refrigeration, like no signs of, uh, you know, uh, how, how, the, how they managed to cut at a molecular level perfectly one half, you know? So let's check these books. Suspicious book. The spine says the pincher in the rye. Not the catcher, the pincher. Suspicious book. Hey, wanna see a video of Luca Claridium being a parasite inside a snail? Um, uh, maybe? Absolutely. Oh, Iba. Yeah, I forgot that uh, Iba is uh, a lot into bugs. <clears throat> when we look at plants, she looks at the bugs inside of the soil and say, Oh, it's a... Um... And then she, she can shoot out the scientific term for the bug. She's like a real entomologist at this point. And she cheers for the bug. Yeah, you! Go, you! No, that sounds disgusting. Why? There's a TV set on the wall. Uh, what's the... On it, yeah. Shelves, bottle of shell. Okay, let's talk to Mama and her big uh, crystal balls. There are two balls on the counter. Let's talk to Mama. Here's a little wink sink. So we're gonna dive into our mind, but for six seconds. I've got a riddle for you. If you get it right, drinks on me. What happens when you get rough with a fuzzy navel? What happens when you get rough in the fuzzy navel? I believe this is a setup for a dad joke. Incoming! It spills, honey. What happens when you get frost with a fuzzy navel? It spills, honey. Is there a honey in the fuzzy navel? I don't know the ingredients of a fuzzy navel, so I don't know um, <coughs> if I should laugh at this joke. Anyway. 
So about the balloons. <clears throat> I told Mama about the challenge. So this is the, um, the 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 note I found. This world is a game, and I want to play with you. If you win, I'll give you a nice hint. I place three balloons in random places around Tokyo. The balloons are red and blue. Look for them. Sign Terror. So this is the name he given to himself because he tears down his victim to half. Hey, have you seen any red and blue balloons? I haven't, but I can ask the Milky Balls. Uh, yeah, the, she called them the Crystal Balls, the Milky Balls. Milky Balls, yeah. Oh, Mighty Balls, who is the biggest liar in the world? Those bags that say tear here. Oh, that's a joke. Oh. Absolutely right. What is with that? Who cares about that? That is totally unrelated. Yeah, she always does a, a, a joke reading at first, and then she, uh, like, who's the prettiest, uh, who's the fairest in the world? Oh, it's Mama, of course. Oh, stop it, you. You know, that's what she said. Sorry, that was my heart screaming out to be heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need to hear your heart screaming right now. <clears throat> now, let's try this for real. Oh, balls, the great and powerful, please find something for me. Where are the red and blue balloons? You should go to Ikume Shrine. Where the fruit of immortality resides. You see, so when she's like that, you know it's for real. Cause after that, she, she got, she, she comes to, and she has no idea what she just said. You will find it there. All three of them at Ikume Ooh, Shrine. Did that work? Da da da. <clears throat> So that crystal ball. I thought I told you about my great and powerful balls. After I plucked these out, I filled them with silicone. Uh... Oh, that's why there are two. She is clearly joking. Oh, you were talking about these balls, not the, the one you're... Any information? Hmm, yeah. I have a little nugget of information regarding Horadori. You have dirt on Chikara? Yeah, this is uh, uh, the second victim that we just recently found the left half of it. The first half was found six years ago, um, stuck on a black board at uh, Sekiba High School. It was like stuck there uh, like you would, like a suction cup. Because uh, his feet, his feet, his foot, his foot wasn't even touching the ground. Now we found the left half at Yoyagi Park. He was standing up, like he was standing up, he, like he, he looked like he faced through a, a stone monument. That was like, okay, that's eerie. Of course, there's no blood, no trace uh, of a murder weapon, no DNA uh, regarding uh, who the killer might be, so... The most pungent of dirt always makes its way to my nose. So what information do you have? Chikara was a devoted believer of a new religion called the Order of Percent. Yeah, I remember. So, yeah, there's... Um... We have some suspicions that Terror is part of a uh, underground cult called uh, Nysaflox. And there's a branch in Japan. And inside that group, there was like a religion called the Order of Percent. Uh, nice, basically, they're the one who claims that this world is fake and like basically they want they want to be the debuggers of the world they, they try to see the world as a huge game and they're the playtesters so they're trying to do some store stuff like uh, what the dharmas would do 
you know, like fast and not move for like 40 days or hit bang themselves uh, onto the wall, try to see. Like they're trying to stressing. Um, they're, they're trying to stressing reality to find the seams, which gonna appear like glitch, which is uh, like a weird phenomenon. And uh, they think that the Mandala effect is one of those. <clears throat> so, you know the Mandala effect, like you think you remember something and then you realize that that's not it at all. That basically it's like the Matrix re-uploading itself. And then uh, yeah, some facts are like, whoop. Stress testing the world is a good idea, but they... they they want to ascend into a, a higher plane of existence where they're gonna be Im immortal. So it's like, okay, I can die in this world, but that's okay because I know I'm alive somewhere. Yeah. You know? And their dirt is quite fragrant indeed. Anyway, he really believed in the simulation theory. Yeah, the simulation theory, like the world is a simulation, just like the Matrix. The moon of the sack is a long result of the creator. The one who is the one creating this world. They intentionally amend their memories so they could forge through this world of lies. So yeah, the world is a lie. Everything you see is a lie. Nothing is real. Nothing is true. Which is why they worship the one with the sun. The percent. I haven't get why their sign is the percent symbol yet. What was that? Part of their new scripture, I suppose. Smells fishy if you ask me. No fishier than you. What's the sign of percent? That I don't know, but I have a feeling it has to do with the case. You know, the percent sign is two circles separated by a line. If you ask me how that's significant, I couldn't tell you. Well, I can see from an abstract point of view, like the line can separate the two circle. Like there's a left side and a right side, which is basically a percent inside of a circle is basically two sides to the truth. And right now we just finished one side and now we're going on with the second side, which is uh, with Mizuki. But this order of percent must be involved in all this somehow. Da da da. You see, this is the first, um, the first, the right half of Shikara's body and the left side that we just found uh, not too long ago. But you see, for some reason, they have some marks that uh, where it's separated. So I don't know, they, they never addressed what it is. The right side doesn't have that at all. And it feels like this, this side has been frozen up. But when they check with the second side, it says, no, no, it wasn't frozen up. Like the first body, like there was no sign of uh, freezing or thawing. No. So, kind of odd. Well, I guess we should head to Ikume Shrine. Yes. Do you actually believed her? Yes. Not necessarily, but <coughs> it's something. It's a lead. Something, huh? Thanks, Mama. That was a big help. I don't know how any of that information helped you, but if it did, that's great. Come back again whenever. I'll be waiting. I'm gonna ch I want to check my Tamagotchi. Should be ready soon, right? Five minutes. Okay, I'm too early. Okay, so... Let's go to the map. Ikumi Shrine. Just popped up. February 12th still. The big gate. You see? No balloons here. Oh. Mama said. You should go to Ikume Shrine, where the fruit of immortality resides. Oh, inside the temple. I trust her mystical precognition as far as I can throw her. 
Huh. What's the fruit of immortality anyway? Yeah, Date would know about it. Likely the Tokijiku no Kaku. <coughs> you know it? Yes. I have heard of it before. Yeah, in the first game. It is said that eating it will grant you youth and eternal life. The Tachibana Orange. Many believe it is a Tachibana Orange. It is an object of worship at this shrine. Wow. The fruit of immortality. Chozuya. No balloons in this area. Oh, I want to go in. X-ray. There is a balloon. Told ya. There it is. There it is. The balloon. And it's red and blue. You're correct. This is a red and blue balloon. Tied into a rock inside of the temple was being appear to be empty because there's no um there's no furniture, there's no hostels, there's no uh not even seeds of the Tachibana orange. See, I told you. How did Mama know? Doesn't matter to me. It should. Let's try popping it. It looks like there's something in there. Like the one at Yoyagi Park. Like a, a note inside the balloon? Hmm. Let's do it. I don't see a note. She's gonna use okay, she's gonna use the club to break the balloon. Yeah, there's a paper. Three. Maybe? So this is balloon number three. What does it say on the back? INDG. Oh, this kind of puzzle. This kind of puzzle. All right. We have to collect all three and then uh, put all the, the letters together and that's gonna make a f sentence. You know what? I'm all in for that. I'm gonna write this down. So number three. I am space DG. Right now I'm thinking of indigo. Three and indig. Indig. Hmm. We cannot currently decode this message. We need to find all three balloons. All right, we're done here. Sacred straw rope. It's the Shiminawa, the sacred rope. Shrine, main building of the shrine, lantern. Shows you, uh, you used to cleanse your hands before worshipping at the shrine. Stone monument. I can't read what it says. Three. Can we look? Tori. This is the gateway. Alright, let's go out. Uh, <clears throat> Kumakura office. We're not gonna find anything here, but basically we're gonna stop talk to Moma, who is a Yakuza who tries to uh, get out of the criminal world. <clears throat> like he still has some connection in the criminal world, but uh, they're trying to be a legit. Leanne is here for some reason. What's on his neck? It's you. What happened? Whoa, he has a voice modulator. Moma doesn't sound like Moma. Uh, forget about me. What's with your voice? It's a long fucking story. What do you want? I wanted to ask you something. Is it okay that I'm here for this? Yeah, it's fine. The more information, the better. I told him that Chikara's left side was found at Yoyagi Park. And that terror left me a message taunting me with a balloon search challenge. How about that? Blue and red balloons. Alright. <clears throat> How many legs do you like? Six, three, two, or zero? Uh, three will turn me into Date. I want to say two. Oh, it's brave again. It's normally. Boo! Oh, I'm... Mizuki, I'm done with her. 
Okay, I'm gonna reset her. Because I'm trying for different forms and I found all the forms that Mizuki has to give me. Alright, so let's start over. What do you think of shrimp? Tasty, hard, red, or hard to eat? I'm gonna say hard. Brave again? It's juicy inside, E. Oh my god, I don't have any luck this time. <coughs> hmm. Momo. Wink sink. Mama, I. Oh, my sweet flower. You shouldn't fall in love with a rogue like me. Oh my god, is this why he's using the voice modulator? Because he sounds like Kizuna or something? But Moma, I can't help myself. <sighs> You're only going down a road of pain and regret. No, that's not true. As long as I have you by my side. Or maybe it's Iris. Hassan. Yes, Iris. It's adult Iris. I forgot. Like, Iris uh, has a lower voice now. Mama. Okay, that's creepy. That's... <laughs> oh my god, this is creepy. <clears throat> yeah, that guy is a creep. That guy is into an idol. And... Uh, in the other game, that there was a whole shtick about uh, us meeting him with him, and uh, she were all. Um... <clears throat> At first, he was like, "Hey, come here, come here. Can you ask? Uh, can you ask her for a handshake? I want to shake her hand." He's like, "Okay." And we said out a joke, "Yeah, um, this guy wants to uh, see your boobs." What? No! No, no, I mean, no, no, it's okay. He wants a handshake. I'm not showing him my boobs. I know it was a joke. Come on. And then... Uh, he went, uh, the next time we saw her, the, hey, hey, come here, come here. What? Like, you already got, you, you want another handshake? No, 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 I got one. It's okay. I, I want to see her panties. Like, what? Yeah, I want to see her. I want to see her panties. She's not, she's not gonna agree. But I really, really, really want to see her panties. I was like, okay, okay, I'm gonna ask her. And uh, we went, uh, yeah, this guy wants to see her panties, and we got hit. I know this is a joke. He'll never say that, right? Uh, yeah. How could you, you evil pervert? He like basically was a setup, basically a revenge for the last time. And then finally it ended up like uh, he, wanted, he wanted to mo motorboat her, but instead like, okay, close your eyes. And then we put a fat dude in front of him. It's like, okay, on count of three, you can motor motorboat the, the girl. Okay, one, two, three. And he kept his eyes closed all the time and he thought he was, it was a real deal. It was so hilarious. It was like, oh, I never felt so alive. All those shitty years of my life are starting to pay off. <clears throat> I'm the happiest man alive. So now his next thing is having a, a, buying a voice moderator so he can sound like Tessa. What's with your voice? And this is a Vochlocho. Vochlocho. A what? A voice changing lock choker. It's a necklace thing that can change your voice. If I wear this, I can have the perfect voice. The perfect voice? So you actually want to sound like that? No! You got it all wrong! This was a gift! It came preset like this! Who gave it to you? Jinpei! He gave it to me yesterday. He said it was a thank you gift. Yeah, this is the guy that he motorboated six years ago. And right now he's like, he used to be a Yakuza. Uh, he's out of the business and now he's a producer on a streaming platform where they show um, a game show. It's six hours long. Basically, they uh, take people from the street and it's like, do you want to participate in the game show where you can win money and stuff like that? The, the game show, the quiz, the trivia lasts an hour including commercial, and then after that, they uh, change the roster every hour. So there's like 
six different games inside of a real stream. So he's the producer for that. I, I think he's in charge of finding the contestants as well. It doesn't have to be all girls. <clears throat> like, uh, basically, you want to um, be a contestant on the streaming service and uh, stuff like that. It's like it's shown live <clears throat> in a rented studio called The Vita. So if you're into, uh, into mythology or, um, or uh, philosophy, like if you know, know about um, a lot of um, Hindu related terms, you know what the Vita is. I have analyzed the voice. The voice he is using now is that of Iris Sagan. Right, I knew I recognized it. Mama and Chimpe are hardcore ASET fans. Or perhaps I should say, Tessa fans. So Chimpe gave him that Voch Locho with Iris's voice set as the default? It seems that way. What a creep. I agree. Trivia! Voch Locho is a product sold on the dark web. Use a PC to upload someone's voice to analyze their voice profile. Input oh, that information. The thing about that is, I lost the key. Input that information and put the Voxlo show on your neck. This allows for small electric signals to alter the voice. By the way, I'm good at voices too. And so am I. <coughs> Sorry about that. He lost the key, so yeah, I pressed an arrow, thought I was gonna fast travel, but apparently, like, I answered a question, so I'm gonna check the log. Can you take it off? Yeah, she lost the key. How? Well, I was getting pretty into the booze here <coughs> at the office last night with this thing on. So you were playing around with it. The more details he gives, the creepier he sounds. I woke up, and I couldn't find the fucking key! I thought I had put it somewhere safe or something, but I couldn't remember. So that's why he called on my services as a lockpick to help. Yeah, he's a professional um, locksmith. But he used to be a pickpocket. Because now he has a decent job. He's good at unlocking doors. But um, yeah, he's a lockpicker. Yeah, Lien is, Lien is uh, not a, a good example of um, I don't know what to say. I've known Lien for years. I know what he can do. <laughs> Thanks, but those are days I would rather forget. I never will. Do you have any idea how much money you made me? I'm sure you know this already, but this guy here? That's in the past. I've gone clean. Oh, he robbed the... Uh, he robbed banks. He stole money. Yeah, he stole money for the Yakuza. Anyway, Leon, get this thing off me. I got shit to do today. <laughs> Why don't we leave it on for a bit? Let me hear that cute voice a little longer. Burn in hell! Uh, have you seen the balloon here? I haven't seen any. There are supposed to be three balloons. You haven't heard about any of them being spotted? Sorry, I got nothing. Damn. We know terror is abnormal. I figured since you're abnormal too, maybe you'd have an idea. Banks are insured, so I don't care what happens to them. Yeah. I don't know if that's the case in Japan, but anyway. I'm not abnormal. I'm the most normal. Oh. When he raises his voice like that, it is not what I would call convincing. Oh, well, Chikara's left sign being found. Ugh, stop with that occult crap. Okay, uh, thank you very much, Joy, for the lurk. Much appreciated. Thank you for stopping by. Feel free to come by anytime. You have some free time. It was nice uh, talking with you, and I hope I can see you later. If not today, then someday. I stream every Sundays and Mondays at 1 p.m. Eastern. So, take care now. Hugs and kisses. I don't like it one bit. I don't get it, and I don't like it. The only thing I can tell you is that I have no idea. 
It's Momo. His sa voice sound off. Dragon. I hacked into it. <coughs> there is one item in the search history. How to defeat Mammal. Oh, they play Shuren. Hmm? Wait, how do you need help beating Mammal? Ah! I never play Shiren. There's a PC on top of the dex, desk. Dragon. There's a dragon with a golden ball. Oh, Moma. Your lanterns are so big. So big and manly, yes. I don't like where this is going. There's a row of lantern, family altar. Chess, the, the Kamakura crest is on display. There's a safe behind that crest. This is where he keeps his uh, Tessa stuff. Chairman's desk. Okay, Lian. Um, have you seen a balloon here? Oh, I saw one at Iowan earlier. The orphanage? Oh. Yeah, it was tied to a tree. I mean, I didn't get a good look at it. It was just out of the corner of my eye. Hmm. Thanks, I'll go check it out. But why were you there? I was there to see my beautiful princess. About the balloons? Balloons, huh? I wish I could float like a balloon. About Chikara's left half being found. Uh, that's a bizarre situation. I don't really know what happened. But I will say this. He got what was coming to him. You know that I was a janitor at Horidori Institute, right? Yeah. Director Horidori and I talked. I heard a bunch of rumors. Rumors? It would take a while to explain, so I'd rather tell you later. But... Mizuki, I admit I am curious as well. However... Right, we need to focus on the balloons. <clears throat> off me already the uh, uh, choker it's too tight he's passing out he can't breathe well what's going on moma is losing circulation to his brain the choker must be preventing blood flow Lian, please yeah got it Ugh, this old geezer his breath stinks that's not the concern right now. This is life or death. I can't help it. My sense of smell is better than a giant pouch rat. Huh? What the hell kind of animal is that? Couldn't you have just said dog? Mizuki, look for the key. The key? The key that will unlock the choker. Oh yeah, he said that he lost it somewhere. So I let's. I thought I had put it someplace safe or something, but I couldn't remember. Okay, so let's um, scan the place. Key in the way to be found, chairman's desk. X-ray on the safe. safe. Yes! I was right. So the hidden safe. There's a figurine of Tessa and the key is around her neck. It appears to be. There's an ASAP figure, and there it is! It's the key! Yes, I am sure it is. But why does he have an ASAP figure? Mizuki, focus! After all that. You saved me. Sorry about all the ruckus. Thanks. You should thank Lian. He's the one who opened the safe. Haha. <laughs> the master of unlocking at your service. Now nah, hold on. That don't make sense. Wouldn't picking open the choker be easier than picking the safe? Uh. Eh, whatever. Mizuki, we need to continue our investigation. Right, we need to find the rest of the balloons. Oh, I have an idea. Hey, Moma, can I borrow your Voch Locho? Yeah, sure. You saved my life. I owe you one. Thanks, Moma. Now then, let's go. So now we have a Voch Locho. Why do we need Iris's voice? I'm curious. Owen Garden, maybe? Oh.
So this is an orphanage. We see some kids. What is it, Mizuki? Nothing, just... Yeah, because she, she realized that uh, she saw some papers and realized she was uh, adopted. Like... Horadori used one of the orphans, as in her, and uh, he did um, illegal human experimentation. experimentation. And... Um, <clears throat> Basically, that's how um, he gave her a supernatural uh, physical strength. <clears throat> so yeah, that girl can bench press uh, 300 pounds like nothing. This really takes me back. Da da da. But now's not the time for reminiscing. We need to find the balloons. Yep. So we see some kids. So there's supposed to be one tied to a tree. So let's check the trees. Ah. Castle slide. I don't see any balloons. Oh, on the top. Well, well, well. Almost missed it. So this is a good spot. If you don't stretch your, if you don't stretch your neck, you would have not you would have missed it. No doubt about it. That is one of Terra's balloons. Just like Leon said. But it is high out of reach. It's fine. I got it. The um, Evolver gun. No, she's using her pipe. She's gonna jump on the tree. Hiya! Yeah. So she can jump 30 feet high. Okay, so where's the paper? There it is. So there's another letter. Oh, UNRA. Why did you pop it in midair? Cause she can. Don't sweat the details. Okay, so number two. U N. R A. Oh, it's gonna be another switcheroo like the thing with all three. I have to figure out how I figured it, it out because uh, um, I got it wrong. I need to look uh, at my uh, own VOD to see uh, what did I do wrong in the switch. Because right now there's more letters. So this is number two. Well, in any case, <coughs> you did reveal what was inside the balloon. Yeah. It says two. And on the back? Unra? No way. Terror is... a pervert. Um, I'm trying to get what Unra. What? Unra? Clearly it's a code for undergarments. Terror is a panty thief! The one at the shrine said three. And on the back it said Indig. It is still indecipherable to me. There's one more bloom left. Afterward, ask the workers and the children if anyone saw tying the balloon to the tree. But it was no good, no one saw anything. With that settled, I by night left. Oh, nurse is here. Hello. Hello, nurse. It's a nurse. Wink sink. Oh, Romeo, Romeo. Wherefore art thou, Romeo? Because that's what mom and dad named me. I made that joke in high school as well. What's her she excuse? She appears to be in a theater group or something. Yikes. Yeah, she's uh, basically she's not a real nurse. She's a nurse actress. 
and she's from an agency of uh, talents who can play a nurse, either on TV or whatever. Why are you? Oh, I'm gonna greet her. Greet her. Good day. Are you here about Chikara? I saw on the news that a corpse was found. That makes the whole thing even more baffling. What do you mean? I had always thought Jin Furaway's disease had something to do with his murder. He had half body tumors. Huh? It's a rare disease that causes tumors to develop only on one half of the body. What? Organs, skin, bones. That's not a thing! Half body tumors? I don't remember which side of the body it was for him, but I always thought his murder had to do with the disease somehow. It was probably the right, because on the right half of his body there was some nitrites and uh, some, uh, some bomb planted into the body. So that shit was there, so it wouldn't... Um, wouldn't analyze the body properly. But Chikara doesn't fit into that at all. I remember. Chikara's right side that was found at Sekiba High had all the innards removed. That wasn't reported by the press. Hmm. But how does it all fit together? Whatever the case, the nurse may have just given us a vital clue. Alright. Uh, what do you like your engine to be supplied? Air, Anna, supercharger, turbo charger, or what are you talking about? Loving. Talking about Rose Pig, E. Okay, one more. If I get a loving, I'm gonna get into an Iba. I'm gonna turn into an Iris, sorry. I'm already an Iba. Why are you here? One of the children here is cared for at our hospital. Oh. But they didn't want to come to the hospital today. So I came here to attend to them. About who tied the balloon? I didn't see anyone. <coughs> I just got here moments ago. I see. If no one saw them, they must have snuck in at night. The security here is pretty bad. It hasn't improved any over the years. But that is how Mr. Chieda wants it. This isn't a prison. We don't need cameras. Oh, if only we did. That awful incident all those years ago could have been avoided. Oh, yeah. What incident? The missing child. I'm sure you've heard of a child going missing from Ion. Uru Somazuki, a six-year-old, went missing one day. Whether it was kidnapping or an accident. It was kidnapping. It was uh, tested on uh, at Oradori, I'm sure. No one has any clue. And he still has not been Oh, found. it's probably the masked woman. It would track. It was a distressing event. If they had cameras, maybe it could have been prevented. Even after that tragedy, Mr. Chieda still refuses to upgrade the security around here. I don't know what he's thinking. There is much to think about. We need to find all the balloons. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. All right, the warehouse. Are we gonna find Gen? Over warehouse district, February twelfth. Yeah, Gen is here. No balloons here. No, but there is someone who looks like they might give out balloons. It's Kenny. Perhaps he knows something. What a coincidence running into you here. What's up? Um, well... I told him that Shikara left side was found at Yoyagi Park. And that uh, Terra left me a message touting me with a balloon search challenge. So these balloons might lead to a break in the case. And finding them would help with arresting the culprit. Probably. 
Oh Listen, shit. It is a school of flathead gray mullets. Oh, they are so cute. You like fish too? It's Tokyo Bay. There's a school of flathead gray mullets. <coughs> crane, it's a crane. No Con balloons inside. Yeah. Container. No container. Wooden box. Keep a gun. Keep a gun. What was that? My impression of the kaiju Kibagon. More like a Pokemon. He resides in the lumber yards of Koto. That's what Iris said. It wasn't my idea. You're the one bringing it up. Okay. Storage room. There are warehouses lined up there. I searched inside but couldn't find anything. No balloons inside. Cold storage warehouse. Da da da. Yeah, they have a relations with that storage. Forklift. Forklift is parked here. Nobody's inside. Again, why are you here? This is my favorite spot. I came to look at the ocean. Mm. Looking at the horizon really calms me down. How long have you been here? Since about 8 in the morning. Wow. Don't you need to open for lunch today? No, I don't really feel up for it today. I'll open it for dinner only. Shouldn't you take running your restaurant a little more seriously? But I'm exactly that. Serious. I don't want to serve food to my customers when I'm not at my best. Cooking is a serious affair. I don't want to be like Ota, cooking some half-assed meals. Have you seen a balloon anywhere? No, I, I don't know about any balloons. Got it. Sorry I can't be of any help. No, you don't have to apologize. About Chicago's left side. Da da da. Well. Da da da. Ringing any bells? Da da da. Mizuki, look. He's lying. He's As you can tell, his temperature is rising rapidly. Oh no, I'm making him horny. You don't have the sex appeal for that, Mizuki. <laughs> oh, I am not gonna take that from you, Aiba. The point is, Gen is agitated, though I cannot determine exactly why. So, is he gonna be the next to be sink? That's his turn, right? Because we did it with Iris, we did it with Amami, we did it with Chikara, we did it with Chikara before he died, we did it with Tokiko before she died, we did it with Andy's Komeji before he died. Oh, we also didn't do Shoma. Oh, no, wait, we did Shoma. Yeah, we did Shoma. We did Shoma, so Gan is the only one. Unless we're gonna do a repeat. Are we gonna sync with Date? That would be fun. We did uh, the sync with Ryuki. So the only one left is Ota again. And um, that's it. I don't think we're gonna. Go, I don't think we're gonna need to uh, sing it to So, or sing with either Mama or Moma. Let's do the wing sync. So again, he's talking with the blue guy. Picked up. Da da da. But, uh. Fine. Uh, if you say so. That's it? So we don't hear the blue guy talk. Picked up. What was that? It seemed like he was talking to someone. Who? Unknown. There is something off about Ken. Yeah, he's not his usual self. Do you think he's a different person? Meaning... 
So if he's a different person, it's, it's probably like... Someone else wearing a Gen mask? Well, not that that is impossible, but... Mooring post, it's a pillar for anchoring a ship. X-ray. It can't be. No, no, it's him. So his crane, his skull is distorted. It's enlarged. His um, thoracic cage is uh, uneven as well. It looks like a hunchback, but the malformation are somewhere else. Again. What is it? Why are you staring at me? So Mizuki is doing something. She's raising her arm towards Gen's face, I think. Oh, oh, sorry. No, it's okay. I can tell what you're thinking. You don't think my face is monstrous, do you? No. I felt this way before. That touch. From who? A mommy? I was born with a crooked skeleton. Yeah, I noticed. My muscles and my skin are different from regular people. I got picked on since I was a kid. People hated me, insulted me, threw rocks, spit on me. So, at so after some point, he grew up some muscles so strong that uh, a whole ceiling could fall on him and he would be fine. That was just life. Normal. But she... Yeah, it's a mame. Now we see Gen removing his mask. Afraid? So yeah, this is the first time. Uh, yeah, Gen remove his mask only once with was with a mame. Not at all. Aren't I disgusting? No, I think you're charming. If anything. Oh, that's cute. And I know that your heart is more pure than anyone else. That's why I love you, Gen. Oh. That warm heart of yours, too. The way you look. All of it. Oh, Mama. I told you this is how I was born, right? Yeah. But I wasn't supposed to look like this. Uh huh? This was a result of genome experiments. Wait, you mean with Chikara? In the name of youth and eternal life. Oh. At the hands of Chikara Horidori. But now Gen is getting... No. Because Gen is suspicious. Gen has a motive for Chikara, but not for Jin. Nor Tokiko, nor Komeji. No. You asked me about him earlier. That's why I hesitated to answer. I couldn't say anything. The terrible memories. I'm sorry I had to tell you all of this. You can forget it, really. <coughs> well... See ya. Mizuki, should you not pursue him? He knows about Chikara. I know, but... 
I gotta get my head straight. Can you give me some time? What about the balloons? Yeah, I'll still look, but... There's a lot of thoughts I have to keep in my head now. turbos on that bike is that even allowed I don't think that's uh... after that I went to different places around the city but the last balloon was nowhere to be found Ugh. the sun is already setting what do we do calm down Mizuki it is dangerous to drive while agitated it's fine at this speed falling wouldn't even hurt me but the bike could break it was provided to you by abyss if you damage company property like that, it will come out of your salary. Ugh. Good girl. Okay, we slow the speed. So we were on the turbo. Okay. Suzuki, it's from Boss. Okay. Crap. I will connect you. Hey, Mizuki. I got a call from HQ. There was a report of someone spotting a balloon in the warehouse district in Ariake. Ariake? We've never been there. Can you head there right away? Wait, but... I was there already. I didn't see any balloons. You must have missed it. They said they saw it around 8.30 a.m. 8.30 a.m.? Anyway, I'm counting on you. If the balloon was there at 8.30 a.m. And it was gone by the time we got there. That must mean... Gen removed it? Someone took it. But who would have done that? Could it be? Brahman World Cuisine, February 12, 6.30 p.m. Yeah, dinner time. Gen! Hey, hey, you can't just barge into the kitchen like that. Just listen, please. Gen, are you hiding something from me? Uh-oh, did, did you find out I've been using frog meat? Cut the shit! searching your place stop hey come on my customers are going to be freaked out if they see you rummaging around here you can't be touching things in the kitchen it's unsanitary yeah and on top of that Boy, I hate to have to ask this, but do you have a warrant? Mizuki. I know. There's a way to search without touching anything. Right. With the x-ray, large pot, nothing off here. Walk. It's our walk. You know about the balloon, don't I you? I don't know what you're talking about. There was a report of someone seeing the balloon at around 8.30 a.m. at the warehouse district. You said you were there around 8 a.m. again. You must have seen it. Sink. Trash can. X-ray. Well, well, well. A popped balloon. But X-ray will not reveal the color. It could be a coincidence. Hey, what are you... Shut up. Are... 
is garbage unwarranted. What is this? Why did you lie? Actually, I don't really care why right now. I need you to answer me. There should have been a piece of paper in the balloon. Where is it? Are you really not gonna tell me? Then you're coming with me. Or I can have the cops bust in here and close you down for the day to search every inch of this place. Which do you prefer? So, Abyss HQ, uh, 740, 7.40 p.m., so basically after rush hour. Why did he lie? That's what I'm going to sink into him to find out. Well, you may not discover exactly why during the sink. Yeah, best case scenario, we're gonna find the truth behind. Probably the experiment. But I can still get valuable information. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, you mean what the piece of paper in the balloon said? Yeah, exactly. <sighs> I can't believe the visor fits his face. Yeah, has a very Before large skull. I'll say one thing. Six minutes. I know. I can only stay insomnium for six minutes. I've heard it so many times I can hear it in my sleep. Well, technically... Let's just get started. Wait, wait, what? Okay. Ready? And... Let's begin. Is he gonna say that we're gonna have less time because of, uh... Gen's body? Because his, uh, physiology is different than the, that of a normal human being? No, we're inside of Brahmans. This is Brahman. This is a small place. Finding what we need should go quick. I would not be so sure. You can never anticipate what might happen in Somnia. Anyway, what is that you're doing there? She's uh, pretending to be a flag. She's holding onto the left lantern and she's uh, waving. Horizontally, like gravity doesn't matter with her. Salmon. Oh, she's doing the salmon. Oh no, the gravity works because her hair are falling down. I am imitating the rugged salmon of the Sea of Okotsk. But why? We are here to investigate Gen. He has been acting fishy lately. Uh. Ha ha! Very clever. Ha ha. Shall we begin? Yes. So we're just not gonna acknowledge that, huh? Yeah. Somnium scan! Activate! Metal lock number one. The menu. The stove. The stands. And yeah, the um, the boots. So necessary intervention. Find the last clue. Gen is hiding. Gen is definitely knows something about the last clue. Where it was hidden. Where it was written on it. About the critical information. Guess we should look around the place first. Yeah. Okay. So what's nearby? Oh, frigging Tamagotchi. What do you think of eyeballs? Pretty tasty, scary around. Uh, they are around. Ah, fuck, it's the brave again. Triangle is scary, E. Another Mizuki. What direction to your life? Okay, left is no good. Left is crazy, so I'm gonna say right. 
Yeah, right is loving. I don't, I really, really, really don't care, Ree. <laughs> Alright. So. There's a menu here. Table seat. Ex inspect for 10 seconds. We're gonna have a half time here, so why not? A normal table seat. Okay. Galing, 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 galing. It's a little tight. <clears throat> Maintaining social distancing would be hard. Golden Yokocho has tons of tiny restaurants. Yes, true. Okay, so this is a dud. Uh, found information inside the store. All right, um, the Ganesha. Inspect. This is a picture of Ganesha, a Hindu god. She was beheaded, and her head was replaced by an elephant. Yep. Stories about gods are always really out there. Indeed, they are. This picture is blank. Huh? What do you mean blank? This is the door. The freezer that could never be opened. Uh, I'm gonna inspect it with um, one half or five seconds. She's banging her head. It is not opening. It's not opening. Walk-in style. Let's look at something else. 25 eyeballs. Oh, there's an eyeball here. How can I crouch? Oh? I don't need to, okay. Um, Gans cooking notes. Read. Yes, canvas. For five seconds. <clears throat> hmm, let's see. That's the recipe for an omelette rice. By incorporating different flavors, a patron will be able to enjoy this same cuisine multiple times. Oh, so the secret of his curry is that he's never making the same recipe twice. So it's a different experience every time. I don't think that's a good model. I don't think it's a good business model. Like, if you like the flavor, you expect it to see it again. But if you're gonna have a unique, like, you never want to come back again. Oh, yeah, I shall never taste anything like it ever again. The angle of the knife can change the flavor, texture, Appearance for intestine stew. Mm. Wow, Genny. He sure studies cooking hard. You can tell how serious he is about being a chef. Mm. Which explains why it tastes so good. Founds get good cooking notes. Okay. Win the cooking battle. Oh. Cooking skill. Parenthesis. Blank. Can be improved by blank. Komeji. If my memory serves me correctly, he said. They'll never be a true chef. What is this? Komeji's voice. TV? Or maybe the radio? Probably the critics. Let's look. Something's happening over there. Uh, blackout! Iba, you okay? What happened? They're gonna change the scene into a studio? What? The floor! What happened? Oh, the game's glitch. I pressed the button and it slows down. What? The floor! Now, returning back to us, our mysterious Super Chef A! 
the pride of our culinary academy, Super Chef A. So we're inside the stadium. There's a giant crowd. What? Super Chef A? Aiba? This is us. This episode's battle shall be <coughs> A versus Gen. Our panel of gourmet dining expert judges tonight shall be Matsushita Diner's very own Ota Matsushita to provide commentary. I'm looking forward to tasting Super Chef A's dishes. But the other contestant tonight has a chance to finally impress me. It's weird since uh, they're showing six years ago Ota model, not current day mod Ota model. Before we've even gotten started, Ota is already trying to get under Gen's skin. He is known for his brutal honesty. Our second judge for this evening shall be the beautiful Amame Doi from the fine made cafe establishment, Sunfish Pocket. Good luck, Danny! Hey now, you're the judge. You can't play favorites. <laughs> Fine. I'll be fair and square. Let's get a comment from both of the contestants. First, Gen Ishiyagane. I don't take cooking lightly. Oh, you can sense his passion burning like spicy Korean cuisine. Next is Super Chef A. Tell us what's going through your mind right now. Uh... Oh, we got to choose? Okay. We're almost ready to begin this showdown. She just said dot, dot, dot. Uh, a cook-off with Gen? If you win, can you unlock his mental lock? Even if that was the case, I've never cooked before. It's true. You're a high-tech artificial intelligence. You can do this. I... I can? Yes, if you train. Train? We can use the timey from earlier to shorten any amount of time down to one second. Well, true. But even a few hours of practice will not be enough. I said any amount of time. M Mizuki, don't tell me. What are you thinking? I'm thinking about training. Are you serious? Please, tell me you are joking. <laughs> Train? Maybe I don't have time to train. No, no, I'm going to use the one timey to train. The timey equal to one because the training is... It says... thirty one million five hundred and thirty six thousand second. So... If 3,600 seconds in a, is an hour, this is 10 hour. But multiply by three. Okay, that's uh, that's a year. So yeah, a year of training, a year of training in one second. Train. Let's begin the training. Uh, seriously. And so the long days of training began. <laughs> Montage. Oh, she's doing the salt, uh, the salt spray meme. You call yourself an AI, and that's all you can do? Do it again. Oh, she's crying. Yes, chef. Sorry, chef. Don't yell at Iba. She's doing her best. Jumping. Yeah. Okay. She's improving her cooking skills. And so the months passed. Nearly a year later, though only one second had passed away in reality. Hmm. You dare challenge me to a battle of culinary prowess? Pathetic. Yes. I've created a monster. A cooking monster! Bring it on, Gen Ishiagane. Wow! Look at that passion! You can cut the tension in the air with a butter knife. Please introduce the theme. This battle's theme is... A multi-course meal for our judge! Chef's Battle! Tonight is the night we reveal the fruits of our cooking labor. What will you make first? A salad. Fiber is an important part of a healthy diet. 
With my culinary inspiration backed by dedicated training, I can do anything. Let's cook. Input commands. Okay. Is this like Mama's cooking? Witness my superior cooking technique. What is she doing? Is that a pumpkin or an apple? She must be making some kind of soup. <clears throat> so yeah, this she's doing like one of those uh, TikTok videos, like one of those uh, awesome epic uh, cooking thing. Wow! She threw the ingredients into the. And then air. she's gonna jump, and then and she jumped after them. Good thing the stadium is. There's so no enormous. surface to got to 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 land the the knife on. So it's basically gonna be like same as slashing. Vegetables are getting sliced up. I can Fruit Ninja. What I'm seeing. I get it. By slicing the vegetables high in the air, she's incorporating fresh air into the texture and flavor. Lame. Incredible. The super samurai chef A is closing her eyes now. She sees the food with her heart. Yay. Samurai sympathy. There's a shrimp that's what? falling. Boo. She didn't cut anything. No. No. Look. It's a golden a, shrimp. A spiny lobster. Oh, a lobster. The passion. The pride. It's a symbol of her dedication to win this battle. So basically, it's just as stupid as um, food wars. What a crazy dish. I got Ale Smith Light Beer, Bellissimo Sunflower Oil, and some Rolo, I think it's citrus juice. There's a bottle of uh, lemon juice, um, olive oil. Iba, what was that? Cooking is an invitation to taste and see with your mouth. Spiny lobsters are yummy. I see. It sure looks impressive. Huh? And there's another eyeball. Spiny lobster salad. Done. Looks good. Chef A, what a natural. Her first dish is complete. Looks like a solid dish. What's happening on the challenger side? Oh, is that, um, it looks like a bibimbap. Or a pokeball with an egg on it. Stone pot bibimbap? No, no, I was right. It's a bit heavy for an appetizer. Yeah, yeah, it's like a full course. A bibimbap is like a four score, full course beer on its own. I tried it before. No, this is bibimbap salad. What? I want a mommy to feel comfortable expressing herself, to show the range of her emotions. A bibimbap salad that exists? Which is why you chose such a colorful salad. And the egg on top is an accent? As much as I hate to admit it, it's clear plenty of thought went into this. What's next on the menu for Gen Ishiyagane's side? The main course. It's looking pretty good. We can't lose, Aiba. Who do you think you're talking to? I did not endure that training for nothing. What are you making next? My main course. Meat. Uh, be specific. I will bear my soul with this dish. <clears throat> Alright, with slow progress. Input cooking command. Witness my superior cooking technique. Now, Super Chef A buried her soul. So she's making a steak on the walk. Looks like steak. Yeah. A steak? Kind of a simple meat dish for her maid. No? This Super Chef A. I'm sure she has some plans for that meat. I see. Let's take a look. Wow. The meat is up in the air. She's gonna chop the meat into the air. Oh wait, is she gonna make uh what's um what's the name? So she grazed the steak and then chop it with the middle half raw. She's instantly resting the meat after cooking it. It's a high-level technique. Yeah. And now Super Chef A has taken flight like a hawk. She's going to salt the meat in the air. Wow. She's salting while spinning. 
Boo, there's no point to do that in the air. It's just for showmanship, not impressed. Amazing. Why is she doing this? My question exactly. I don't know. It's beyond comprehension. Now Super Salty Chef A has returned to the ground before the meat. Wow! She's blowing onto the gas stove and creating a pillar of fire! Hellish medium rare. I'm at a high temperature. She's going to trap in the juices. Yeah. I see. But where did the chicken came from? Stay cooked over the fire of Hades. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to this. Well, where did she do her, her markings? She, she was using a walk. I can't wait to try it. Okay, this is stupid. You see why I don't watch anime cooking shows? You see why? Like... I'm trying to be serious about it since it's kind of my job. I kind of made a living uh, out of it for 20 years. And... Um, yeah, I'll try not to be offended. Or at the very least, as least offended as possible, but yeah, this is stupid. What are the chicken wings around the steak for? It imitates the beautiful legs of an insect. I was about to say, yeah, the chicken legs makes the dish looks like a ladybug or something. Iba, are you trying to lose? No, it's cute! It's like, uh, Spider-Man's logo. But she's two wings short of a Spider-Man's logo. The aesthetics of food is just as important as flavor. Okay, if you really think so, you do you. That's... Another eyeball. My elegant steak meal is complete. It looks good. Our fantastical fantasy Super Chef A has completed her second course. Meanwhile, on the Gen side... Is that fish? Roasted fish in his juice with jalapeno peppers? Omame deserves to be free. I want her to be herself. Yes, free as a fish swimming in the vastness of the ocean blue. Omame deserves to be free. I need to pay attention to what Gen says because I understand he, he does mostly most of the cooking for the sake of Omame. So he knows something. Regarding uh, Amame's uh, background, I'm curious. Okay. Steak versus fish. This could be what breaks the stalemate. Hmm. Jen's doing fish. Are we gonna be okay? Worry not, my little kitten. Did you not see how much training I accomplished? Yeah. I feel like this persona of yours is getting weirder and weirder every time I talk to you. <laughs> the time limit is almost upon us. The next dish will be the last. I'm making dessert, of course. The finishing touch will be dessert. Mine will be the best. Okay. Yes, cooking notes. Sorry. I started eating my chocolate chip uh, protein cookie, plant-based cookie, and um, there was a chocolate chip stuck to my fingers, and I have to remove it, or else it would crush on the controller, and I have to. I, I'm gonna have gooey uh, controller, and we can't have that, can we? All right, especially in, in another input cooking command. I made a lot of mistakes. Cooking challenge against Witness God? My superior cooking technique. They call that a challenge against God. Super Chef A finale. What will she make? It's a dessert. The Super Chef Miracle Whipper. She's whipping like no one I've ever seen before. Yeah. Whipping is all about the speed. Yes. Wow, what's this? Light is coming out of the bowl, of course, because it's anime. She's going so fast, it's creating a pillar of light! Mm, I'm pretty sure uh, spinning so fast would create friction, which brings heat. So I'm pretty sure that um, the ball's gonna be caught on fire before it's gonna emit its own light. 
She's throwing strawberries into the light. The sky is sucking up the strawberries. Wow, what is happening? She's standing in the beam of light and she's raising up. Super Chef A, Queen of All, has been absorbed into the pillar of light. Light doesn't have that mass. The Queen will now challenge the gods themselves. What is going on here? And then snow falls, of course. There's a sky beam. She yoinks something from the sky. What's this? Challenge against the gods. Surviving Hell's Kitchen. Super Chef A of the sky has returned from the heavens. Is that a giant stack of pancakes? Or is it just the beam of light doing its own thing? Have the gods forgiven her hubris? The god Chef A is holding a cake. To make a cake that size, you would need a lot of eggs and a lot of flour. And the bowl that she had could not even begin. At the very best, she made a five-layer cake with the, the, the big bowl that she had with the ingredients. What? You can't even see the top. So it's a cake to heaven. It's an angel cake, get it? By challenging the gods, she created a cake tower of Babel. <laughs> the most insane dessert mankind has ever seen. Even the gods are amazed by this dessert. I think you're taking this way too far. Well, um, she uh, put this too far like one dish ago. Is this another eyeball? God cake. God cake. How do you even eat this? Now, Ultimate Chef A has completed all her dishes. Can that dessert be defeated? Let's check out Gen's side. D donuts? Ooh. Oh, you know, you know what? Fuck this shit. Iba lost just because she was so uh, out of herself. This works. This is simple. This is creative. There's like. Eight different kind of donuts, and one of them is different. Like one of them is chocolate. One is uh, like a, 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 um, a farm wheel. Uh, one has sprinkles. One has uh, polka dot um, edible. Uh, what's the thing? One is a checkered glaze. One is a tie dye glaze. One is just plain, and one is a chocolate with vanilla glazing on it. And there's a traditional um, chocolate with uh, peanut crumbs covered on top. So, yeah, fuck you, Iba. Amame deserves love forever and always. Hmm. The idea here must be that everyone, young and old, male and female, loves donuts. Yeah. I remember back in the day, people would line up for hours to get good donuts. True. This looks promising. Both contestants have finished. Now is the time for judgment. I will judge which three-course meal is the best for me. Okay, I'll, I'll, to be fair, I'll be rooting for Iba on the salad and the meat. But not the dessert. So two out of three. Oh, yeah, that was the theme. Iba, are we okay? It should be fine. I hope so. Judgment time! Please judge the shocking superstar Super Chef A's dishes first. Okay, so this is the shrimp salad. Mm. The golden lobster salad, sorry. This is mine! Yeah, we got Ota. This lobster is a work of art! Yeah. The lobster is cooked perfectly. Then it's the meat with the wings. Th this is... This is good! It almost tastes like it's alive. What do you mean by that? It's so good, I can't tell if I'm eating or if I'm being eaten. My senses have inverted from the flavor! This is some bullshit you'll expect from Food Wars. That didn't clear it up. It's nice and juicy. And then we have the god cake. This is... 
This is good! This cake is going to take me to heaven! Technically, yes, you just don't eat it. You just uh, climb your way up. She literally did that! The sweetness is just right! And the challenger, Gen's cooking. The bibimbap, come on. Bibimbap salad? I hate to admit it, but this is pretty good. But the reaction from him is not as uh, shocking, so I guess it's a win for us? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> the fish is perfect. You can taste the freedom in the flavor. The freedom in the flavor? The fish is so good too. Yeah, um, Amami's comments is overly simplistic. It's like, um, um, I, I think we're, we're, we're cooking for Nanako. And she's like seven years old. It's like, hey, the omelette is good. Like this omelette that's overly spicy is good too. It's a bit spicy, but it's good. The one that tastes nothing, oh, it's good. And this donut, you can taste the spirit of it. It's a flavor unlike any other. Yeah, it's good. See? Wow, the lexicon on her. Yeah, the lexicon on her, wow. A simple, it's good is all she had to say. Because it's good. In any case, who will be decided the winner? This will be tough to judge. Do you think you're gonna win? I hate to say this after all that, but... I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a tie. Uta's gonna vote for us, but Amame is gonna vote for Gen. Is this even going to uncover Gen's secret? Yeah, I wonder. Uh... Let's head to the results. Please. <clears throat> The winner of this cooking battle is... Super Chef A! Yay! Yeah. Yes, we did it! Oh, really? Why? Why? Oh, there's a cage that falls on Gan. And another cage that's falls on the field. So we're trapped in two gilded cage. We won the cooking battle, so all right. So probably wanted to be a chef, but he's just been told that he wasn't good enough. Hmm. Or maybe does he think that no matter how hard he tries, even though Oto has less skill than him, he's not getting the, the success that Oto has because uh, He's, he's getting more client because it, it's cheaper. I don't know. Release Gen from the cage. Okay. Huh? Gen went into the cage. He locked himself up after being rejected by Amame. Aww. So you shouldn't have won? No, the mental lock is unlocked. We are certainly closer to his true heart. Hmm. Gen put all of his passion for Amame into his meals. Yeah. It wasn't good enough. Let's investigate the dishes. Oh, okay. Cooking skill. Cooking skill can be improved by repeatedly performing the same action command. <clears throat> uh. 45 eyeball game. What kind of scummy do you like? Simple is the brave. I'm gonna say metaphorical. Oh yes, impish. This is Tamagotchi. You have four minutes remaining. How did we lose so much time? Okay, let's try the bibimbap first. Where's the bibimbap salad? This? Gen's cooking salad. Bibimbap salad? Ota said the egg was important. Eat or inspect? Mm, I'm gonna inspect for five seconds and then eat it. Bibimbap salad. It is an intricate dish. Yes, it is. This is something I cannot reproduce for the life of me. It could even work as a meal. The key to this dish is the egg. I wonder how it tastes. So we have to eat it. Bibimbap salad. Ota said that. 
All right, we're gonna eat it for 10 seconds. Yes, <coughs> let me taste it. So eating it will provoke a memory. This is Chikara. I'm sure you're well aware, game. But you are the result of genetic modification. You were birthed from an egg that had its genome altered. Okay. In the course of researching eternal life. But this resulted in extreme changes in your bone structure. Your epidermis is also abnormally hard. Closer to rock than human skin. So he is like Luke Cage. You are a failed experiment. <clears throat> Pitiful, really. Sorry, so they were expecting to make a super soldier, but he only gained um, rock hard skin. He was hoping to get superhuman, superhuman strength, but that fall into uh, Mizuki. She was compatible for that. But he was like... Trying to make it from, from scratch. I was born into this cruel world looking like this. But I don't resent Chikara. Not really. Maybe it's more accurate to say that I've lost all emotion. Happiness. Joy. It's all gone gray. This is just my reality. It's how I live every single day. I want Amami to feel comfortable expressing herself. To show the range of her emotions. That's terrible. Yeah, that's the thing that he said after he made the salad. Chikara Horidori is an awful man. Okay. So, let's check the... This is the cooking station. Though, this is the... Um, the main dish, the, the fish. This is Gen's fish course. Eat for 20 seconds. I will <coughs> Nothing. What's with that mask? Why don't you show us your face? Monster! Yeah, he was his face and now he saw the deform. Uh... What the hell is with this guy? He's a total freak! I didn't do anything. Fuck off! You'd be better off dead, freak! What was the point of punching him? He doesn't feel it. Well, he would feel emotional hurt, that's for sure. When I was young, there was this kid bullying me. I pushed him and ended up breaking his bones. It's like everyone says. I am a monster. If I stand up for myself, people get hurt. Oh, so he, he let himself getting beat up and fell on the ground. So he purposely lose the fight, he's not fighting back. So I just took everything I got. All the judgment, the teasing, the beatings. Amame deserves to be free. I want her to be herself. Hmm. Da da da. Three minutes left. You can do this. Okay, where's the dessert? Over there. Gens donuts. Eat. Let's try them out. Yeah. 
You eat donuts with a fork? You wanna sole your fingers on the donuts? Like, the only moment, the only, the only good uh, reason why you would eat a um, donut with a fork is when they're shared. Like, you only take a half and you wanna to touch it because... Oh uh, no, my stroller! Oh, what am I gonna do with all this stuff? Person C. You seem like you could use a hand. Can I help? Oh, thank you. Yes, could you hold my baby for just one second? Oh, the baby's gonna cry. Oh, the mask is whooshing away. Kia. Oh, you're hideous. What are you? Oh. Why is the mask so easily to be removed? Don't touch my baby. People avoided me. Pushed me away. I was useless in a society like this. Unneeded. It was like I didn't exist. Or maybe I'm not allowed to exist. Hmm. Which is why I started living my life in hiding. Amame deserves love forever and always. Gen was ostracized by society and lives a lonely life. So he tries to give to Amame what it was denied to him. Genny. So, what next? Let's remove the cage. Talk for 20 seconds. Hey, Yen. You are surrounded. Come out right now. Your mother is crying over you. Who doesn't care? Listen to her, please. Gen, Gen, please, come out. Quit messing around. You were in on it too. In this world, the chef's blank is inside blank. By blank it, you blank the chef's blank throughout the blank. Izuki, you have less than two minutes left. Be careful. Uh, let's convince the judge. Amame. Do you know what was missing from Genny's dishes? What? It appears there was a specific reason Gen lost. Gen's self-love, feelings for Amame, creativity or motivation? Yes. I'm gonna say Gen's self-love for 15 seconds because feelings of Amame are there. Creativity was there. And he was motivated to become the best there is. But yeah. Self-love. Yes. I appreciate the way you care about me, but... You can't keep hiding your heart in a cage, Genny. I want you to escape that cage. I was useless in a society like this. Unneeded. Do you think I think the same way? If I stand up for myself, people get hurt. So I just took everything I got. All the judgment, the teasing, the beatings. It's like everyone says, I am a monster. I never once thought you were a monster, Genny. Aren't you afraid? Not at all. Aren't I disgusting? No. I think you're charming, if anything. And I know that your heart is more pure than anyone else. I want you to love yourself more. Do it for me. But I... That's why I love you, Gen. That warm heart of yours, too. The way you look. All of it. Amame.
<laughs> now we're back at the restaurant. And the mommy is putting her face next to Gen's face. Putting her hands next to Gen's face. Oh, I know. Amame never feared me. I do have a place. There are people out there who need me. Not many, but it's enough. My place is here. I wanted to eat your cooking, Genny. I remember now. I remember her saying it before. Yeah. Okay, then. Frog meat again? Nope. This is alligator. It's really good. <laughs> Thank you. Free Gen's art. Yeah. <clears throat> but I don't have much time for the last block. Might have to redo and uh, skim on the... Find the last clue. I'm glad. I'm really happy. Now let's go back. You idiot. We haven't found any clues yet. Here you go. What? This is on the house. Oh, thank you. Hmm? Omelette rice? It looks like normal omelette rice. Eat for 320 seconds or throw away for 550. No, 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 we're gonna eat it. I, I, I bet the, the clue is inside the plate. But there's not enough time and I ran out of, um... I ran out of, uh, timies. You know what? I wanna redo it and not do the freaking training and keep the Eagle One timey here. Well then, let's eat. Alligator meat is surprisingly easy to eat. Wait, there's huh? alligator meat inside of... That's... The clue is inside the... Yeah, he popped the balloon because it was tied to the pier, the, 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 the mooring anchor. So he popped the balloon and he saw the piece of paper. Number one, host. All right, we got the we got all the letters. The paper. That means Gen did have it. Yes. Now we can go back. H O S T. So we're supposed to rescramble the. Miss. Thank you. I won't lose next time. I just realized the Apologies, background music is uh, our mommy's time. song. I do not want to go through more training. Nah. You haven't finished your meal, you just took one bite and that's it. Boo! Performance Vajra. Another term of Hindu. Uh... Oh. Hone, hone in, stragde. No, I, I need a, I need Where's a special Kenny? I need a special key to get uh, to get uh, the the letters because I trying to uh, do the switch. Stradge.
Abnormal activity was detected in his brain after the <clears throat> Oh. It's not anything serious, but Pewter decided to take him to the medical office as a precaution. Okay. Oh! Ted's brain is atypical. Yeah, of course he's atypical. Hi, Bai is making herself shorter than Boss for some reason. The nano cables may not have been connected properly. Oh. Is he okay? Like I said, nothing serious. It's not life-threatening and there shouldn't be any side effects. Okay, if you say so. But I wanted to ask any tons of things about Chikara and why he lied. I am curious about that too, but we should hold off until later. Yeah, before we do anything, let's solve Terror's annoying little puzzle. Right. We got our third clue in the Somnium. The pieces of paper in the balloons. One said one, and on the other side, host. The one at Ion said two, and Unra. And? The one at Ikume Shrine said three and Indig, right? Yeah. What are these signifying? Hmm. Well, if we line up the letters... Indigo underwear hostess? That's way too many letters. Where are you getting this from? Oh, I know. I know you don't know, so don't say anything. You were probably about to say something even worse. Could you two... Please take this seriously. The letters on the pieces of paper, what do they signify? 